In this tutorial, I'll show you how to, again, create an alignment and then adjust some of the settings within the alignment. So we have a P-line again here. This was done in the last one, but just again to show you, I will create an alignment from objects. Uh, we will select the first P-line there. Once that's done, you'll select the direction. So with the arrow going from the pad to the boundary, this means that the zero point will be here and the end point will be uh, at the boundary edge. So we will keep that if you have this reversed. You can just uh, type in reverse there. It's going to bring up the uh, alignment property. You have the name here. You can name this anything you want. Uh, starting station, we will keep that at zero. Uh, this will be a center line. There's an offset that you can do uh, for some of those. <clears throat> site, for this site, you can pick site one. This just specifies which site your alignment is. Uh, accompanying with the alignment style there's different ways to um, list this we'll start off with propose and we'll show you some uh, minor changes there and then alignment label set <coughs> this will be doing <coughs> the alignment labels um, on there again you can see that there are uh, several other options here we will do uh, minor, major minor and geometry points so one last thing is we'll set this radius to 30, just so that our radius is not too large. Now when that comes in, you'll see that that radius does come in here. The points are extremely, uh, or the text is extremely large. The way you want to change that is down here. You should have the annotation scale. That annotation scale, if you set that down to around 10, should put that on a, uh, in within a range that's, that's reasonable here. Now you realize what's come through is we have our beginning point here point of commencement, point of tangency, that's for your curve, and then the the end point here. Again, you will just want to have one uh, or two straight sections and then one curve. This limits the amount of points that you have to uh, print out. Now, <clears throat> next we want to look at uh, adjusting the different um, pieces of this. So if I click here on uh, this alignment, I'm going to right click on it and I have several options for editing uh, the alignment uh, style, geometry, and labels. If you look at labels, you will notice here that you can set the major stations and minor stations. So if you wanted to, you could uh, bump this down to, let's just say that we set the major station at 10 and the minor station at 2. We'll hit OK. What you can see here is that the major stations, the way it's specified, will have uh, the stationing set with them, and then there will be ticks for the, uh, the smaller pieces there. So that just gives you a way to show the stationing at uh, specific points. Note that some of these still overlap here, and you're able to, if I want to, I can go ahead and uh, click on one of these. Let's see if I can get the uh, guy here, and you can move it around. You pull the, the grip with it. Again here, I can pull on that grip and pull it around like so, and that's going to allow things not to overlap. <clears throat> now, once that's set, we need to go ahead and create points. The next thing we'll do is uh, create points for the different geometry sections in this alignment. 